Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. We're going to be talking about the CBDC. We're going to be talking about Jerome Powell. We're going to talk about the Fed. We're talking about cash going bye-bye. We're talking about a totally new economic system and is very serious and is happening before our eyes. This is a uh, tweet that came out just recently. I am got this from uh, my friend Jared Tate. Thank you so much. Uh, good buddy. Uh, we talk a lot on the phone and I really appreciate the information he brings me in a very timely manner and I wanted to get out to you as soon as possible. Um, it says right here, the, the tweet says, new Powell, rapid changes are taking place in the global monetary system that may affect the international role of the dollar. That was a quote from him. A U.S. central banking digital currency is being examined to help the U.S. dollar's international standing. I want to make something very clear. The U.S. Uh, digital dollar, the Fed coin, whatever you want to call it, it is already finished. It's done. It's been running. It's been beta tested for years. It is done. If you think for a second, if they tell you we're thinking about it, no, they're not thinking about it. This is a planned event and it will be coming out next year in 2023. I'm going to play a little clip from Jerome Powell here. We're going to hit this right here. Okay. Looking forward, rapid changes are taking place in the global monetary system that may affect the international role of the dollar in the future. Most major economies already have or are in the process of developing instant 24-7 payments. Our own FedNow service will be coming online in 2023. That means it's already done. And in light of the tremendous growth in crypto assets and stable coins, we are examining whether a U.S. central bank digital currency would improve upon what is an already safe and efficient domestic payment system. Our, as our white paper on this topic notes, a U.S. CBDC could also potentially help maintain the dollar's international standing. Okay, Looking forward. I, I want you to understand something right now. First off, that coin is already finished. They're implementing it in 2023. I've, I brought you to the FedNow website before. Um, this is a plan to take cash out of the system. This will be ultimate control. This will be... It's, it's going to be gnarly. I'm going to be honest with you. This is not the time to be getting into crazy debts. Uh, they will use world governments around the world will use a crisis to implement this digital currency around the world this is not blockchain i want people to understand that this is not decentralization this is not a decentralized blockchain this is a digital currency that can be put into your account and taken out it's very serious this is why in these days people to understand that it's going to feel amazing when all of a sudden they come out and say, Hey guys, we're giving you all $10,000 in the new digital dollar. Just, just download this app from the fed website and the federal reserve is going to directly inject. Now think about this. This is outside of the government. We're going to directly inject, let's say $10,000 in your account. Are you need to use it in the next two weeks or you lose it, <coughs> excuse me, because we're in a crisis right now and it's going to fire off the dopamine in your body and it's going to feel like a drug it's going to feel exciting it's going to be gamified i i want you to understand where we're going with this and then people will give up all kinds of things because they'll run out and they'll go buy that tv that they wanted forever or that car that they wanted forever and they're gonna buy things just like we saw in 2020 things that they didn't necessarily need very few people i know a lot of you did and i did as well uh, you know, take that money and you are able to put it into good use, right? For your business or for your personal life. You're able to use it to grow your business or grow your personal finances. Um, but a lot of people did not. The majority of people bought things. That's why you saw Louis Vuitton stores with lines wrapped around them because people. Uh, I want to start off by saying, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yaharasha, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yaharasha. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Milson Atonement is doctrine and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the elect. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, which means He is or He exists. Ba'ashim in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We know His name to be Yahweh, which means He is the deliverer, He is the Savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your Father. Ba'ashim in the name of the Rukhak Wadash, which means the Holy Spirit that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off following after false gods and false idols, not following the law, set of commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent into captivity. But through Yaharashai Hamashiach in the latter times, we would be able to come back to the Lord. And that goes for the elect. Because of, of 
the so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native Americans of the Hebrew Israelites, there is a, a elect, there is a, a remnant that are going to be able to have the understanding in these times and be able to come back to the Lord and repent and be converted. Two thirds of our people are not going to come back to the Lord. Okay, they're going to follow after uh, Esau, Edom's, um, you know, ways, which Esau means wasted away is, and they are the biblical Edomites. These are the people that run the world, that control the world, which are the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Kennedys. These are, their nationality is actually uh, the Edomites. Okay, going back to the Greek word idumium, which goes back to red, which goes back to the, the curse um, that was put upon uh, Cain, okay, because he killed Abel, which is the same spirit that uh, that Esau is coming in. Okay, and we're coming in the tabernacle of David, Lord willing, we're of the elect. And what you're seeing right now is an economic collapse, okay, which is brothers should be rejoicing right now because in this collapse brings in the kingdom of Yahweh Shemar Shai, okay, and the, and the elect are going to be what joint heirs. And what these devils are trying to do is bring in their Novos Ordo Sacronium, their New World Order, by um, order out of Kale, okay, the Hegelian dialect, which is pressure from above, pressure from below. And they're trying to come out with this, uh, you know, the central banking digital currency, okay, which they've already had. They've already had set up in different countries. They've already tested it out, you know, Psalm 64 and 5, where they encourage themselves to, to do um, a diligent search. Okay, they've already done this. And now, um, because of what's going on over, um, you know, in the in the eastern countries, as far as over there in Russia and, in the, in the, you know, as far as uh, China and places like that, you see that the the pe the petrol dollar that was once so uh, dominant upon this um you know far as this time is no more it's not more dominant anymore, and they're trying to bring in uh, this currency so they can be able to basically uh, cut you on or cut you off far as with the karagma which is a graven image in your forehead or in your hand which is something that's physical because this is all the prelude to it because they un they understand um you know these elites. Um, that they have but a short time, okay? And they don't have no more power because Russia is, is um, these other heathen nations are um, saying we are strong because they have what hyper con uh, hypersonic uh, capabilities, okay? And they have allied together to come against um, this whore, this, mo this mother of harlots, which is Babylon the Great. Babylon goes, goes into uh, the word uh, definition, or the definition of uh, confusion, OK, and America goes in the definition of a bitter. Right. And we're in a bitter, confused state when you have these people, uh, these elites waging war on the people. OK. And this is going to be a time of what us, um, you know, of great miseries. This is going to be a time of, uh, you know, great tribulation. Because you're going to have to act, trust on the Lord. You know, so this time that we've been in the truth, you know, um, we've had we've had. Um, you know, we've been able to just, you know, push the word, but now it's going to come down to if you don't have this uh, central banking digital currency, then you're not going to have food or you're not going to be able to go to work or you're not going to be able to what, have, a, have a place to live. OK, and that's the time that we're in right now. And so, you know, so I want to get into some scriptures about the downfall of this economy with them uh, bringing this in because they're acting like what they're trying to help you. OK, but they're they're never trying to help you because it, t it tells you never trust thine enemy for like an iron is rusted. What? So is his wickedness. So it says Micah two and one. Woe unto them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. So woe, which means destruction. And what are they doing? They're devising iniquity, which is sin upon sin. To um, bring about their what the new world order, the Novus Order Sacorium. OK, order out of kale. Right. And they have been given the portion by Yahweh Shemel Rashad, by Yahweh, to be able to um, put for, put forth a wickedness on the earth. It says Micah 2 and 2. It says, and they that covered fields take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house and even a man in his heritage. Yeah. So that's what they're going to start doing. They're going to start going in people's houses and taking them out of these houses. Right. And take them out of these houses to be able to what spoil any kind of goods that they have. OK, so anything that they actually have uh, far as in your house, they're going to take you out of these houses. And if you don't uh, get down or lay down basically mentality, then um, they're going to take you to these internment camps because we know that 
um, these wars and rumors of wars, there actually has to be an implementation of what the um, the karagma around the four corners of the earth. Micah 2 and 3, therefore thus said Yahweh, behold, I am against this family. Do I devise evil and from which you shall not remove your necks and neither shall you go haughtily for the time is evil. Yeah, because these devils are very proud. Okay, and they have um you know since the mid 1300s they've been able to um you know basically do what they wanted to far as deceiving the nations okay after that thousand year period of them being um, under subjection and they were loosened for um this little season which is um the renaissance era which is the rebirth of rome 2.0 okay they came out with their iconoclasm and they were able to crucify our lord you know crossing him out and saying that he's a so-called white man and making themselves as as uh, purity OK, but they're actually the, the wicked. And that goes into these elites, these families, which is the so-called white men, these Rothschilds, these Rockefellers, the DuPonts. OK, the Kennedys that are devising iniquities, um, you know, um, in darkness. But now they're being exposed through the, through the prophets and Esau is being made bare. It says for. It says in that day shall one take up a parable against you and a laminate with a doleful lamentation and you shall. And you shall say, we will be utterly spoiled and had changed the portion of my people and you have removed it from the turning away and he had divided our fields. So again, the Lord is going to be confiscating um, their fields, okay? Because these devils are what finished. They're completely ruined. You see that their economy is crashing, okay? And they think that they're going to be able to bring in a crisis and be able to implement that karagma, okay? But it's not going to happen because we know in Job 20, in the, in the fullness of sufficiency, they shall be in straits. And right now they're in straits because that's why they're calling things what uh, misinformation and dis disinformation. Okay. And, you know, when you're hearing um, about the guy, the economic uh, ninja, so basically he goes into, you know, the economy. Okay. And what he was saying was that they're going to try to, um, you know, give you, you know, $10,000 and that's going to make you, you know, happy. That's going to make you basically go into the central banking digital currency. And that's all that is, is to be able to lure you into that net, to that snare and that trap. This is Sirach 14 and 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom he, will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. So he doesn't even take pleasure in his own goods. What does he do? He um, he puts uh, chemtrails in the air. Okay, he poisons his own kingdom, right? And then he also brings down his own economy. Showing you, showing you that he's not, he's not in a position. He's not in control, because the Lord Proverbs twenty one and one, the Lord is doing his pleasure. He stirs up the king's mind. Okay, six. There is none worse than he that envy himself, and this is the recompense of his wickedness. So this is the repayment of his wickedness. It's a company, his economy being brought down to, to nothing. Okay, but being brought down to the to the grassroots. Okay, seven, if he doeth good, he doeth unwillingly, and at last he will declare his wickedness. Okay, yeah, so if he's doing something good for us, giving you a certain amount of money, there's a reason why he's doing it. Just like when you go into the, um, when you go into, as far as the welfare system and, and the, um, you know, these HUD programs, when you go into those actual programs, okay, what have they done? They've, they've created where you take the, take the man out of the house. Okay, creating what these GMO babies, creating these uh, fem female babies. Okay, so you act like he acted like he was trying to actually help you, but actually he was the device of iniquity. It says, um, it says eight. The envious man had winked an eye; he turned away his face and despised men. Yeah. So what is he envious of? What the birthright? Okay, the birthright that he he was supplanted, going back to Jacob. Jacob was our forefather. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Jacob had twelve sons, and those are sons of the promise. And Esau is the sons of the wicked. And then you have what the sons of the men, which are the other heathen nations. Okay. It says nine, a covetous man. So covetous goes into uh, another man wants what you have. And that's what he constantly wants. He wants that birthright. He wants your soul. He wants to be able to take away your uh, your soul, um, take away your VMAT too, which is your God gene, which is in oh, in your forehead. Okay. And that's the ultimate goal is to get everyone what karagma up. It says uh, nine, a covetous man's eye is not satisfied with his portion and iniquity of the wicked dry up the soul. So again, it's drying up his, uh, you know, the, the little, 
you know what I mean, drying up far as his portion of life, okay, because he constantly wants to implement um, his new world order. Why? Because he knows that he has but a short time. Let's get that real quick. Because he, what is he seeing? He's seeing the chariots. He's seeing the men of the Lord waking up on the highways and the on the highways and the byways through the Ruach Hakadosh, and they're waking up. Okay, and they're exposing this devil. Okay, that's why they have a thing called what misinformation and disinformation, which is which is all a lie. Okay. It says, um, yeah, Revelation 12 and 12, therefore rejoice ye heavens and they that dwell therein them. So rejoice ye heavens. Those are the brother. Those are the brothers, the men on the highways and the byways that are pushing this word that are constantly being fervent in the spirit. They're rejoicing because the end is being manifest. It's being seen. It's being made clear. It says, woe to the inhabitants. Woe means destruction unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. And the sea is a parable for the people, Right. It says, for the devil has come down to you having a great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. So that's why it speaks about in 2nd Ezra 16, he shall be like a madman sparing none. Also in Isaiah 59 and 19, where he's going to be coming in like a flood because he knows that he has a but short time. Okay. And he wants to implement that karagma and he wants to eliminate people because he has what? A perpetual hatred. But we know that their, their uh, table... Suck it. Yeah, this is uh, Psalms 140. Because this is the wicked. And that's according to Malachi 1 and 4. That's according to Obadiah. Okay, Genesis 27 and 40. Re Revelation 6 and 4. First Maccabees 1 and 11. Okay, that the wicked have multiplied on the earth. You know, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear a rule, the people mourn. And people are mourning right now. And they're going to be mourning when they're cutting off far as the, um, well, you have inflation, which is going to lead to hyperinflation. You have the gas prices where people can't even go to work. And also you have the food prices going up. And also you have them, what, destroying the food. Okay. That's how you know who's, who's in control. Okay. Which is the wicked. This is Psalms 140. And we'll start from one Psalms 140 and one. It says, deliver me, O Yahweh, from the evil man. Preserve me from that violent man. So this is a very violent man. He's actually a, a raging, raging homo. What does he want to do? He wants to be able to implement something into you. He's constantly watching your every move and what you're actually doing. OK, and he wants to now put something into you so he can be able to watch your carbon footprint, which is actually your breathing, who you're talking to and things like that. It says two, which imagine mischiefs in their heart. Yeah, so your the heart goes into the um the Hebrew word lahab. Okay, so in his heart he imagines what mischief, which is wickedness. Continually they are gathered together for war, so they're always together together for war. That's what the Davos meeting is. That's what the Bilderberg meeting is. That's what those Bohemian Grove meetings are. Okay, and all these things are being exposed in the latter days because before you didn't really hear about them. And now uh, the average person hears about the Illuminati, okay? But they don't hear about the word Esau or, or Edom because they even try to shadow ban that. That's why brothers have to put the, they don't, they can't put the whole spelling up because they'll try to shadow ban that or take down your video if um, they you expose them too much as far as the, um, far as the, uh, the name of the lesson. It says three, they have sharpened their tongues like a serpent adders, poison under their lips, Salah. So poison under the lips. So they're acting like they're trying to help you. You know, you have Joe Butthead, you know, he's saying we're, we're going to make these sanctions and things like that. But what is he doing? He's sending billions of dollars over there to Ukraine because what are they doing? They're fighting over the oil, okay, the fatness of the earth, right? And so while they're sitting there saying, well, we'll help you out and things like that, they're really not. While this whole economy is being broken down and he speaks with what a slick tongue because he's always speaking about uh, death. He's always speaking about um, he's always speaking with an under tongue, a double minded. T Let me get that real quick. This is Sirach 28. <clears throat> Sirach 28 and 14. Yeah, 13. It says, curse the whisper and the double tongue for such have destroyed many that were at peace. Yeah, so that double tongue that goes into the contracts that he made. 
um, you know, with the Northern tribes. Okay, whenever that he's made a contract, he's always went against that. And even with these heathen nations, he's done the same. And that's why these heathen nations are starting to hate this devil. And we're speaking about Esau Edom, the white man. Okay, 14, a backbiting tongue had disquieted many and driven from nation to nation. Strong cities had pulled down and overthrown the houses of great men. So that's what they're going to be trying to do. And that's why we have to trust in the Lord, because those great men go into the prophets. Okay, and those are going to be the first people they're going to be looking for. But the Lord's going to what lift up that standard. Right. So we'll go back to uh, what is that? Psalms 140 and five, four, three, 140 and four. Psalms 140 and four. Keep me, O Yahweh, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from that violent man who I proposed to overthrow my going. So to overthrow your ways. OK, he doesn't want you to be righteous. He doesn't want you to pray to Yahweh or Shai. He doesn't want you that. He wants you to pray to a, a, a white Jesus. OK, he wants you to pray to that Pan-Africanism. He wants you to to pray to um, his idols, which is his beast system. OK, he wants you to be a part of his beast system. Right. It says five. The proud have hit a snare for me and cords. They have sprayed a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me. Salah. So again, uh. That's what they're that's what they're doing. They're implementing. They're taking away the paper dollar, bringing in the central bank and digital currency. And like the guy said, this is not a blockchain. OK, there is no government. It's actually ran by the actual elites. OK, there's no there's there's there's, there's two parts. OK, as far as the, there are two different things. OK, with this, this is to be able to control, control their dollar, control their. So it's not going to be a dollar no more. It's going to be something that's digital where they can be able to turn it on and off. If you don't come, if, say for instance, you don't have your green card, okay? You don't have that hot sauce card. You can't be able to do what you want. If you don't have that karagma, which is, that's the ultimate goal for these devils, then then you're not gonna be able to, to do that. And the snare goes into a trap, okay? And that's what they have. They lay it wayside all around you because again, that's why it says, you know, in Matthew, it speaks about you, uh, you might have to let certain things go. It might be your woman. It might be your family because you, your family doesn't have the understanding like you have. This is only for a small remnant, a, a small uh, residue of um, of believers, okay, of, of men of the Lord that, that are actually going to believe in, in this, um, you know, in this truth and this wisdom. So we're going to go into the downfall as far as their economy because you're seeing everything being broken down this is isaiah 14 because this is one one uh, uh so-called a great nation so this is isaiah 14 and we'll start from nine it says it says hell from beneath is moved moved for thee to meet thee at the coming it stir up the dead for thee even all the chief ones of the earth had raised up from the thrones and all the kings of the nation so all these nations are going to be rising up an excitement over what the downfall of these elites, because these elites have gone to places uh, all around the world and have taken them captive, taken them captive by what their military, their 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 hammer of the world. Because um, you know you have three systems, you have the three unclean uh, uh, frogs, right? And that speaks about in Revelation. So you have the monetary system that is ran out of what Great Britain, okay, which is considered the lion which is where they're able to um, push forth a lot of their wickedness where um, where Amalek's actually at, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers. They're over there controlling what the money system, the bank system. Okay, then you have what the Vatican, uh, the Vatican, you know, far as the Roman Catholicism, you know, the Pope, okay, the Christianity, the, the baptism, the, the, the Protestant, okay, all the wicked abominations. Then you have also what Washington, D.C., which has what the hammer of the earth, the military. Okay, the military system, but see, their military is became weak. Okay, but they're still going to try to fight um, because that's that's in prophecy. Okay, because China has hypersonic capabilities. You have Russia has hypersonic capabilities. Okay, um, Iran. You know, you have Nicaragua. You have what um, Venezuela. So all these places have been set up where Russia, which is uh, part of was an acronym also for the BRICS nations. These other nations that have um, joined with Russia, and then they're trying to the, what they're doing is they're fighting against America, okay, which is uh, Babylon the Great, and 
the Babylon the Great is joined upon with the beast, which is consist of it did consist of when it started with ten. Okay, ten nations. Now it's consist of about thirty one. Okay, because again, the it's either for for uh, these devils, it's a get down or lay down mentality. If you don't get down with the, these certain countries, don't get down with one of these countries, they will be destroyed. And it's just like the Lord. If you don't get down with the Lord, you, you're going to be ultimately all the way destroyed. And if you get down with Esau, you're going to you're going to be uh, it's like him. If you get well, you get down with the Lord, the Lord going to save you. OK, if you get down with, with Saul, which is the two thirds and Esau and these Ru Russian and all America, you're going to be destroyed. The only people that are going to be saved is the remnant. OK, and, and of course, you have these these. Um, you know, these uh, Edomites, these top level uh, Edomites that are going to be first in um, put in fetters, irons and chains. They're going to be the first crop of slaveries, first crop of slaves. OK, Isaiah 14 and 10. All they speak shall speak and say unto thee, thou art also become weak as we are thou become like unto us. So, again, that goes into what Joel where it speaks about the weak shall say I am strong. OK, and what are they doing? They're preparing for war. That's why they cut off certain resources as far as, um, you know, China was doing deals as um, far as with America. And they cut off a lot of deals as far as the cargo ships coming in. That's what that whole thing was also, was about. Okay, those cargo ships, they're, they're blocking off, they're doing a, a siege on the people. Okay, and of course you have background deals with, with China and things like that. But it's the whole point is they're preparing for war. Okay. They're putting up the uh, the other stuff and then preparing for war because China thinks they're going to be next up. But we know through the spirit of Yahweh Shema Hashai, Yahweh Shai is next. And through through these prophecies, through the truth, it says eleven. They pomp as brought down to the grave, and the noise of the vials, the worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. So again, that goes into their infrastructure. Okay, you have bridges falling down. You have roads falling apart. You have holes all, all the, you know, as far as in the, in, in the ground. And they keep saying that we're going to build it back up. We're going to build back better. We're going to do a great reset. How are they going to do that? Okay, because they don't have people that even want to work. Okay, they're, they're frustrated. Okay, they're frustrated because they know that this, they know they're, Esau's being exposed for the wicked devil that he is. I want to read this in the NLT. It says, your might and your power were buried with you. The sound of a harp in the in the palace has ceased. Now maggots are sheet and worms are your blanket. Yeah, so again, going into the Sha'a, going into hell. Hell is a condition put on earth. They'll never come up again. Isaiah 14 and 12. Are thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How are thou cut down to the ground, which thou weakest the nation? So again, that goes into uh, the spiritual demon of uh, Lucifer, which is Esau, Edom. Okay, in the flesh. Okay, Slaki, the in the flesh you have Esau, Edom. That's speaking about Lucifer, which means what? The light bearer. Okay, and also on the right hand side you have the light bearers, but this is speaking about Esau. Okay, and it says yeah, and it says you destroyed all the worlds, you destroyed all the places, what through um, your wickedness. It says thirteen. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh. I will sit also on the mount of the congregation and the sides of the north. So again, and that goes into what? Uh, America. Okay. And you have what? Ascended above the stars. You have tried to go up to the, what the, uh, you, but you can't press the, the van and island belt. Okay. But they have ascended what? Satellites in the sky. And they also, what with um, Donald Trump, what did they do? They brought in, what, SpaceX uh, 6, because they think that they're going to be able to fight against the, the um, our Lord Yahweh Shai, okay, which they're going to be beaten, beaten down, okay, with the chariots of fire, right? It says, 14, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. So they're trying to be like the Most High by implementing what? That Karagma, okay? They're trying to be like the Most High by um, having everyone linked into their technology, Saying their science is 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 higher than the Most High, okay. Saying that that a savior is going to be coming from what Silicon Valley, okay. So these devils don't believe in anything, show, showing you that they are fools. It says, "Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit." So again, they're going to be brought low. They're not going to be able to come up to far as their their reign that they once were at, okay. It says sixteen. It says, um, I want to read this in the NLT. It says, everyone 
there will stare at you and ask, can this be the one who shook the earth and made the kingdoms of the world tremble? So again, going into the destruction, they're going to ask, is this, is this the man that actually did this? Okay, that destroyed it <laughs> when it comes down to it? Yep. It says, they made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, and they opened not the house of the prisoners. Yeah, so, um, you know, that goes into Revelation 6 and 6. Behold, you know, that, that far as that black horse going into slavery, because everyone is what? A corporate slave to this devil. Okay, everyone, everything that he implements is you have to follow. It's a get down or lay down mentality. And because of that pride, uh, Esau Edom is going to be made bare. And what his light's being put out. Because people are going to say this this thing is going to be far as the destruction is going to be broadcasted around the uh, four corners of the earth. Well, far as these other countries to be able to uh, show the downfall of this place. Let's get that Isaiah socket, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 51 and 7. It says, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made the earth drunken and the nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Yeah. So going into um, far as the, the people coming over here from these other heathen nations, Psalms 83, this crafty council, the, all these people have eaten over here. You know, Jake is the only person that hasn't eaten. OK, now you might see here and there, um, you know, some people might have a business, but the, the percentage of it is very low. OK, and these other heathen nations are, are done with this place because they see the downfall. They see the downfall of the economy. They see there's no money and people are starting to what go back to their own countries. Let me just highlight this real quick. Let's see. Jeremiah 51 and eight Babylon is suddenly fallen, destroyed. How for her take bomb for her pain. So. So be she, she shall be healed. So again, there's no medicine that's going to be able to heal this place. There's no money that's going to be able to help this place. This place is done inside this bottom. It's being routed out. And that goes into this word. Let's get that. Jeremiah speaks about that in one. Jeremiah 1. Yeah, right here, 10. It says, see, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant. So this place is being rooted out. OK, it's being rooted out and being destroyed. And then after that, the Lord will bring us back to our land. And these these uh, these what um, these other heathen nations will start in what Esau. They're going to be the ones what building it up, building up the kingdom. And this place, Babylon, the great is going to be what a wasteland. So Jeremiah 51 and 8, Babylon is suddenly fallen, destroyed. How for her take bond for her pain? So if she, if so be, she may be healed. So again, this place is not going to be able to be healed. It's going to be hit with intercontinental ballistic missiles, those hypersonic missiles with that fervent heat. Okay. It says, 9, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go. Everyone in his own country for her judgment reach into heaven and is lifted up even to the sky. So again, going into people going back to their own country, you're seeing people flee from over here to Mexico because this is the beginning stages of this place falling down of what that wormwood of that hell that I read in what Isaiah 14. That's why I was speaking about oh Lucifer, how you fallen from um, fallen from your grace because you were at such a lofty estate. Why? Because of your pride. Your pride has what deceived you. I'm going to go into, see what I want to go and do. Let's go into Job 15 and 29. Yeah, Job 15 and 29. And I'll, I'll skip around and just go. Job 15 and 21. A dreadful sound in his ears. Prosperity and the destroyer shall come upon him. So again, that's our Lord coming upon him. And how does he speak through his prophets? Okay. And this, this word is cutting him asunder. All right. So skipping down, I want to go to, what's that? 29. Yeah. 29. 
he shall, Job 15 and 29, he shall not be rich, neither shall his substance continue, neither shall he prolong the perfection thereof upon the earth. So again, uh, you know, to his new world order. 30, he shall not depart out of darkness, yet so out of confusion, the flame shall dry up his branches, and by the breath of his mouth shall we go away. So again, by him, you know, speaking very boldly and very proudly against the heavenly father, far as I will ascend up to heaven, I will, I will do this, I will be able to do that. Yeah, you're not going to be able to do that because that flame, which is those intercontinental blessing missiles hitting, okay, you're not going to be able to do that. And then you're going to, um, after, you know, a thousand years of slavery, you're going to be stubble. 31, let not that him as deceived trust in vanity for vanity shall be in his recompense. So again, you're trusting in what? Empty riches because this place is all going to go to naught. He's not going to see, as it speaks about in Job twenty, the honey and the, and the, and the living waters, the things that he that he uh, that he once accomplished when when um, you know when his uh, <laughs> and this is roughly paraphrasing. You know, it speaks about you know far as in his belly is going to be like ass, ass. You know, far as uh, venom, it's going to be venom in his stomach. He's going to have to throw it out, throw it up. Any kind of riches that he had. It says, Joel 15 and 32, it shall be accomplished before his time and his branch shall not be green. So again, yeah, before his time is up, okay, he's going to be, uh, he's not going to have what, um, green, which green means what, uh, green pastures, okay? He's not going to be able to, to accomplish that. It says 33, he shall shake off his unripe grape as a vine and shall cast off his flower as the olive. Yeah, going into what the, the the things, the fruits that he that he put in, which is that Esau Edom put in, he won't be able to do that. It says, uh, "For the congregation of the hypocrites shall be desolate, and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery." Yeah, so the, for the godless are barren, their homes are enriched through bribery will burn. So again, that goes into these other heathen nations. Okay, not all the world is going to be burnt up, but a lot of these uh, um, places are going to get hit. Okay, because because even though, um, you know, America doesn't have, um, you know, hypersonic capability, they still have missiles, okay? They still have missiles that they're going to be firing off, and those are going to have the spirit uh, of Yahweh Rashai, of Yahweh Bashem Rashai. It says 35, they conceive mischief and bring forth vanity, and their belly depart to see. Yeah, so they give birth to evil, okay? What they're, what they're actually doing, because again, who who's the one that brought forth this new world order? They did. Okay, who's the one that's bringing forth the iniquity? They're doing it. Okay, why are our people um, even even like that? Because they've seen the wicked, and that's what the Lord is doing. He's actually showing us how to how to not run a wicked kingdom. Okay, how how to not run a you know that's not how you run a kingdom in wickedness because wickedness doesn't get you anywhere, but trusting in Yahweh Shem Shai actually gets you somewhere. Okay. It says Job, Job 18 and 5, Job 18 and 5, it says, Yeah, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. The light shall be dark, and his tabernacle and his candle shall be put out with him. It says, The steps of his strength shall be straightened, and his own counsel shall cast him down. So his own counsel, going into what? Obadiah. Okay, the people that were confederate with them shall come up against thee, you shall be what, a parable, and you shall be exposed, okay? Yeah, and so he shall be what, straightened. So he's going to be what, uh, his own schemes are not going to work like he once did. Like he, like, for instance, um, you know, them going over to other people's countries and just pushing for wickedness, they're not going to be able to do it because people are going to start backing with Russia. And ultimately, they're just going to be put out, right? It says, eight. For he is cast into a net by his own feet. He walk upon a snare. So he's walking upon a snare right now. Going right into, he thinks he's going to be able to go right in his new world order. But in the fullness of sufficiency, he shall be what? In straits, as it also said in here. It says nine. The ten shall take him by the heel and the robber shall prevail against him. Yep. <laughs> and they're, they're known as that thief. It says the trap grabs them by the heel and the snare holds them tight. Yeah, it holds them tight from not, not doing what they wanted to do. It says, the snare is laid for him in the ground and the trap for him in the way. So our Lord has set a trap, okay, set a noose that lies in the hidden ground. Okay, he doesn't, he thinks that, because again, that goes into Job, I think Job 12 and 16, where strength and wisdom 
is in the knowledge of, of Yahab Hashem Yahashai. Okay, the deceiver and the deceiver are his. Roughly paraphrasing it. It says 11. Terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. Yeah, so when these missiles are firing off and these other um, other countries that were once confederate with them, they're going to they're gonna start destroying them. Okay? And even with these bunkers, the Lord, what, the men of the Lord are going to go into those bunkers and pull them out. 12. His strength shall be a hunger bent and instruction shall be ready at his side. Yeah, so his uh, thirst for uh, wickedness is going to be what? His, his own calamity is going to be his own uh, stumbling block. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of the dead shall devour his strength. Yeah, so that goes into what his military, okay? As far as his um, disease eats his own skin, his own, his own, uh, uh, as far as his hammer that he trusted in is not going to be able to work. It says, his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. Okay, and that's our Lord. Right. It says it shall dwell in the tabernacle because it is none, none of his brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation going into those uh, those um, hypersonic missiles. OK, which they don't have. Um, they don't have where you can be able to detect them, showing you that our Lord, you know, um, when he was speaking about there's a thief and he's going to come like a thief in the night and they're going to come over here. And what? In, in twenty nine minutes. OK. And then even Russia was speaking about they have four missiles that uh, Satan twos that can be able to destroy Babylon the Great. OK. And that's all prophecy. Job 18 and 17. His remembrance shall perish from the earth and he shall know he shall no name on the street. Yeah. So he's not going to be able to be remembered. OK. He's not going to be any remembrance because, again, after a thousand years, it's going to be what put to stubble. Right. He shall be driven from the light into the darkness and chased out of the world. So again, these other heathen nations are going to be also chasing them out of the world. Okay. It says 19, he shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remaining in his dwelling. So again, that goes into, he's not going to be able to procreate. He's not going to come back and see some, uh, you know, reprobates. They want to say that, you know, Esau, after a certain amount of time, after a thousand years, he's going to come back. And that's not true. Okay. Again, he's going to be put to, after a thousand years of hardcore slavery, he's going to be put to stubble because we have drink that drink. So he shall drink the uh, uh, the drink double, Revelation 18, 6. It says 20, they that come up after him shall be astonished at this day as they went before uh, frightened. So again, um, you know, this is going to be televised. Okay, now like public enemy said, it's not going to be televised. No, this is going to be televised, televised to be able to show the destruction of this place because these other places have what? They have uh, cable networks and things like that. And they're going to be shown and they're going to know the true power of Yahab HaShem Yahashat. 21, surely such as the dwellings of the wicked, and this is the place of him that knoweth not Yahweh. So again, this is the place that dwelleth that knows not Yahweh. Okay, but they're going to know in that day. Let's get that. That's John, and I'll end it right there. That's John 12 and 28. Let's see, um, Slakia. And where is it, John? John 12 and 28. John 12 and 28. Father, Yahweh, glorify thy name. And then came their voice from heaven saying, I will both glorify it and I will glorify it again. It says, let's see. Yeah, Khan. So John 12 and 28, and this is Yahweh Rashai speaking. It says, Father Yahweh, glorify thy name. And then came the voice from heaven saying, I will both glorify it and I will glorify it again. So his name was glorified in Egypt. Okay, and this is spiritually known as Egypt, and it's going to happen again. 
It says 29. I want to read this in the NLT. It says, when the crowd heard the voice, some thought it was thunder, while others declared an angel has spoken to him. And Yaharashai told them the voice was for our benefit, not mine. It says, the time for judging this world has come when Satan, the ruler of the world, will be cast out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. That's right. So again, that goes into our, our Lord, Yaharashai. Yahweh Hashem Yahashai's name being glorified on the earth. Because again, now the elect has the understanding of the name, but this whole world is going to know through destruction. So with that, call Halal Yahweh Hashem Yahashai, Hashem Kakodash, Shalom to the elect, call me Yahashai.